before we get one step closer to finding the countdown champion of champions. Hi, we're, welcome to you all. We're all very excited here, not because it's the, it's the last game of the week, bec uh, but because this last game of the week is surely going to be uh, one of the best. It's the final of uh, Group E, so we're all uh, biting our nails. If we, well, we would if we did that sort of thing, wouldn't we, Carol? If we had any nails left to bite, I think, yes, yes. it's going to be a fantastic final. We've had a great week, a fantastic week of uh, high quality, and uh, here are the two now who have made it uh, through the week. Here they are, the Supremes for this group are David Trace and Alan Saldana. <laughs> well, these boys have both got fantastic track records. David Trace, who comes from Ashford in Middlesex, well, he came through a tight semi-final against Richard Campbell by 46 points to 36. Uh, David is 39, he's a factory operator. Now, he was the champion of Series 9 10 years ago in 1986. His record is tremendous. It's uh, 15 wins out of 16 and just one narrow defeat against uh, Harvey Freeman. So that's the record and indeed the face there of David Trace. Good luck, David. <laughs> and uh, what a game we had yesterday, didn't we? A fantastic game. 19-year-old uh, Alan Saldana from Chelsea equaled the record of 83 for the half-hour show. That is the joint highest uh, score, that record of 83 held for many years by Stephen Balmont. Uh, now, uh, Daryl Francis, unfortunately, <laughs> came up against uh, Alan. Uh, it was a marvellous game, terrific. Uh, to remind you, Alan was uh, 10, of course, when he appeared on Countdown, runner-up in Series 15. He's now at Cambridge University. His record is 15 uh, wins, no, sorry, his record is 14 wins out of 16. 14 wins out of 16. That's just one less than David. So, as you can see, these are the real experts, these two guys. So, good luck to Alan Saldana. <laughs> and yesterday, our guardian of the dictionary still managed to beat Alan with the winning word viaducts. Viaducts. Well, we thought that was the railway to succeed so he's hoping to be back on track today to make it hard lines for our contestants it's tom o'connor and in the sidings catherine stokes <laughs> and after all those references to the railway it's a signal honor to be with you it really yeah. is. <laughs> okay well we of course had a nine letter word yesterday let's see what uh, awaits us now as we crack on please now in this final david trace and alan saldana david to begin uh, consonant, please. Carol. Thank you, David. We begin with D. What a D first. Another <laughs> consonant, please. It's just to make you feel at home. L. Uh, vowel. O. Vowel. Got a vowel. A. Consonant. P. Uh, consonant. F. Vowel. I. Um, consonant. V. And a vowel, please. And another vowel. And that's A. Thank you. The countdown for this starts now. Yes, David. Just five. Five, says David Allen. Five. Right, well, you staggered to five, David. What have you got? Valid. Valid for five, yeah. Allen. Podia. And Podia. Mm. 
Well, we're on five. What about Dictionary Dell? Yeah, I mean, well, I'm afraid with loads of fives, we had a veil and a void as well, but uh, we're nothing more than five, I'm afraid. No, OK. Well, obviously, yeah. difficult one. Valid, though, is the best we can... Uh, one of the best ones we can get. Valid here. OK, well, five off the mark for both of them. And Alan's choice, please. Can I have a consonant, please? Thank you, Alan. R. Another one, please. C. And another one, please. And another consonant, which is L. A vowel. E. Another one, please. A. And another one, please. And O. A consonant. G. Another one, please. D. And a vowel. And a final vowel. And that's I. OK, the clock starts right now. Seven. Seven, David? Seven as well. Right, Alan, seven? Radical. A radical, seven, David? Yeah, radical and cordage. Right, as well. We Radi radical? Yeah. Yes, yeah. we were thinking they may have met the other one. Radical, yeah. 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 Uh, we had godlier, actually, mm. which um, means more godlier. <laughs> <laughs> Does it, Tom? It's a radical form of the word <laughs> Yes. <laughs> What does radical mean? And we have radical, we're just going to tell you now. We're just going to have a look for that one, just a right. second. It's uh, to do with root, is it? Yeah, part yeah. of the plant. Yes, the part of the plant embryo that develops into the primary root. That's right, Richard. Yeah. A rootlet. A rootlet. A rootlet. <laughs> rootlet. Yes, and if you get a lot of them, they, they're godlier. <laughs> is it really, Tom? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> OK, well, seven apiece there, so scores are 12 and 12. And, David, your turn. Um, Consonant, please. Thank you, David. H. Uh, consonant. N. Vowel. E. Vowel. I. Consonant. S. Consonant. B. And um, vowel. Please. Vowel. U. Uh, consonant. Y. And consonant. Please. And another consonant. Thank you, David. Get it out of the box. That's T. So, with the third selection duly made, here's the countdown clock. David? Uh, rather dodgy seven. All right, a seven. dodgy seven he's yes. admitting to. Now, Alan? Six. Yeah, all right, well, here's the six then. Ubiety. U. Ubiety. Ubiety. Okay, that's the offer for six. Now, the dodgy seven. Uh, bunties. I know bunties is a word, I don't know whether it's a noun, so you can have a call. How do you spell Let's that, please? B U N T I E S. No. No. Sorry. Now, just remind us of yours, Alan, please, and spell it. Ubiety. U B I E T Y. Ubiety. That sounds Bunches. right, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, Bunties was a load of comics, wasn't it? There was a comic yeah. called Bunties, wasn't there? There was. <laughs> and a pile of Bunties. Yes, there it is. Mm -hmm. The fact or condition of being in a definite place. Local, Local relation. relation. There you are. So, look at the scores after three letters game. There's uh, 12 to David and uh, 18. To you, Alan, and now our first numbers game. Alan, numbers, please. Can I have four from the top, please, and two from the second row? Four from the top row and uh, two from the second. All right, we have nine and one. Oh, dear, one is not going to be much use. 50, 175, and, of course, 25. Don't need to tell you that. And the target for you both is 352. OK, 352 chaps, and the... Countdown starts now.
352, Alan. 352. David? 351, one away. Yeah, well, one away, but, well, let's see what the 352 says. Here we go. 9 into 50, it's 450. 9 multiplied by 50? Yeah. It's 450. Minus 100. Oh, minus 100, right. It's 350. It's 350, yes. 75 by 25 is 3. Minus 1 is 2. <laughs> yes. And add that and on. And add that on, yes. Well done, 352. <laughs> little, little comment, David, anything to say? And I, I did it the same way. I just didn't see that the 75, I had the 75 and the 25 left. I used the same numbers, oh, and wow. I didn't see that I had the 75 and the 25 left to get the 3 yeah. minus the 1 would have been 2. Yeah. So that was how I got the 1. Yeah. You get it, Carol. I did it completely different. I said 100 plus 75 plus 1 is 176. 50 divided by 25 is 2. 2 times 176 is 352. So yeah. completely different methods. <laughs> Very well. Good. Well, that's 10 points uh, for Alan. So 28 and 12. Half time, but not well out of quick word. Well, as long as you want, Tom, really. Take it away. Well, we, we didn't have the numbers, but we had you by it, didn't we, that time? Um, <laughs> I was talking about an old chap called Bill yesterday from Marway. He's a lovely old blogger, and, and I love people who don't complain. You know, so I said to Bill, how's it going? He said, not too bad. He said, I've been to the doctor. He said, give me a bit of a shaker, but I'm not bothered. I said, what's that? He said, well, he said, you know, my heart's on the blink. I said, what? He said, dicky ticker. I said, does he give you some tablets? He said, he, well, he's not really bothered. I'm 86, you see. He said, it's not worth doing the tablet job. He said, so what he's told me to do, he said, I've got to take it nice and steady and have a large whiskey before I go to bed. I said, is it doing you any good? He said, it's great. I went to bed six times yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't, don't go to bed now, fellas, because you're going you're gonna to miss the end of this programme, which is pretty good. So uh, we'll see you... In your seats, in front of your tellies, after the break. Thank you so much. It's old. It's new. It's big. It's small. It's noisy. It's quiet. Complex. It's simple. It's hundreds of different dishes from three billion very different people. It's half the world. It's Sharwoods. With Neutrogena's new long-lasting dandruff control, there's none of this, none of that, just this. At last, a dandruff shampoo that lasts longer. It's Curry's best ever Christmas choice with an interest-free option on all products over £200. Thousands of gift ideas at Curry's lowest prices on the spot. For your biggest and best Christmas ever, only Curry is bringing you all this. To make sure you stay cool under pressure. No cool pressure. The 1997 Laguna comes with air conditioning and an electric sunroof as standard. Laguna by Renault. It's all worked out beautifully. Ultimate Street Quiz on video. Favourite memories will come flooding back. Coronation Street Trivial Pursuit, out now on video. Love, love changes everything. My brand new recording of Love Changes Everything, as well as another 14 of my favourite songs from the world's greatest musicals. Something coming, something including West Side Story, Les Miserables, and The Phantom of the Opera, together on one album simply called The Musicals. I loved recording them. 
They have great memories for me, and I hope they will for you. If you're going to be puzzling over your TV viewing this Christmas, try our simple color-coded TV guide. This week, there's a sneak preview of the best programs on offer this Christmas, plus the TV listings for the week ahead. One more problem solved. Program free with the mail on Sunday. Rummy Cub is one of the most popular games in the world, and now it's our turn to find out why. Rummy Cub brings people together from Goliath. Hi, yes, well, we're ending the week in the fine style. This is the final of Group E, and our finalists are here and pulling out all the stops. David Trace on 12, and uh, just missing out on the numbers game, actually, by one, but, of course, Alan got it spot on, so that puts him on 28, so five rounds to go. And, Alan, we zoom in on you, and uh, off you go, please. Can I have a consonant, please? Of course. X. Mm. Another one, please. Another X? <laughs> no, maybe not. T. And another one, please. L. A vowel. E. Another one, please. I. And another one. And E. A consonant. M. Another one, please. B. And a vowel. And I. Thank you. Let's start the old TikTok. Six. David? Only five. Which is? Exile. Yes, exile. Mm -hmm. Six. The time. B-E-T-I-M-E. Be times. Yeah, be times, I've heard of. I don't have, can, have we got be we got be times. But not not without. It won't yeah, give us no. a, it won't give us the single, unfortunately, yeah. Yes. No. Sorry about that. Was it Pete? So it is Diary. He was always up bit times, wasn't he? Yes, yeah, so which was in good time, but yeah. there's no singular mm. to that, I'm afraid. No. No. Uh, okay, exile. so just hang on a sec. So let's just go to you then, Dave. You had Exile. Exile. So yeah. Exile, exile, exile obviously fine. gets, yeah. uh, gets there the There were lots five, of fives. There was Betel, as in Betel, not and Limit, Elite. But Exile's five for five, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so the five on this occasion scores the points, okay? Uh, 17 and 28, round six to you now, David. Uh, consonant, please. Thank you, David. R. Consonant. S. Vowel. E. Vowel. O. Consonant. Q. Oh, uh, consonant. <laughs> Shocked you. H. Um, consonant. V. Um, vowel. A. And consonant, please. And a consonant, thank you. And S. OK, David, thank you. Here we go on round six. Seven. You're saying seven. seven. Yeah. Now, good. Alan? Seven. Seven from Alan is? Shavers. Shavers. Shavers for seven, yep. Same word. Shavers. Okay. Shavers, no problem with that. Yes, no problem. We, we had that. Uh, we think that's the only one. We had horses and sabers for six, but se uh, shavers for seven. Sure, yeah. It's fine. Okay, yeah. so shavers there. Look at that. And there it is. Shavers. Okay, so we all get uh, seven for that. So it's 24 and 35. Three rounds to go. Last letter of the game. Alan's choice. Can I have a consonant, please? T. Another one. G. And another one, please. And 
S. Vowel. I. Another one, please. A. And another one. And I. A consonant. R. Another one, please. N. And another one. And another consonant. And M. And the last selection of letters in the final. Here we go. So, how do you do with that, Alan? Nine. Right, nine. Well, we get used to this sort of thing with Alan around. <laughs> David? Uh, I'm playing safe with eight. Which is? Staring with the eye in it. Staring with the, Staring eye. With yeah. the eye in it. Yeah. Yes, I must admit. I'm just checking that. Uh, when I wrote it down, I, had, I let the E out, but uh, I'm sure you're That's more right. S T A I. S T A I R I N G. Staring. As in. As in stir, you know, parts of stairs. No, it no, isn't there. I'm that. sorry. Okay. Yeah, all right. But anyway, it could be academic because let's now go for this nine. Miss rating. Miss rating. I'm afraid now, that's not there. We, we tried that one we, too. We tried that. We tried miss rating and we also tried granitism and that's not there either. Uh, I bet you'd be thrilled about that at home. <laughs> what, what is there is migrants. Or smarting. Both great. Or eight. Migrants, yeah, and smarting. Mm. So the worst of eight. That's a shame about yeah. staring, isn't it? But misrating is, is is not it. No, not it's there. not there. We no. checked that earlier. Yeah. Okay. Well, so <laughs> this course stay the same. Goodness gracious. Uh, now numbers. If you've got the bottle for this, lads, here we go. Let's have the numbers from you, David. Uh, one high and five low, please. Right. Thank you, David. The numbers then, this time around, are 10 and 9, 6 and 2, 1 and the biggie, 100, and the target is 371. So we'll go for 371, please. The time starts now. Three seven one required, David. Three six nine two away. That's two away. How do you do, Alan? Three seven one. Three seven one. Okay, let's see if that's right. Three seven one. Alan and Carol. Nine minus two is seven. Yeah, nine minus two is seven. Hundred minus seven is ninety-three. It is indeed. Ten minus six is four. Yep. Four into ninety-three is three seven two. Yes. And minus one. Take away the one. Three seven one. Well, you see Alan's face there. It was relief there, wasn't there, Carol? Because yeah, Absolutely. Uh, it's home yeah. and dry now. Yeah, home and dry, but uh, it was just being very close until that point. So 24 and 45, so uh, 10 points in the bag. Uh, so in, we now come to the conundrum, so let's see how we do on this. Boys, if you're both ready, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. David rings to say. Mobilised. Well, you're moving in the right direction, young man. Yes. It is. <laughs> well, what a great game. What a great game. I mean, as you see, lowish scores uh, for, the, for these kind of characters, but uh, tight and well fought. 34 points and 45. So, Alan Saldana, you are the winner of uh, this group and you'll be back 
for the Grand Championship quarterfinals in December. Alan Saldana. <laughs> okay, well, we're all pals now, but I mean, you, you're a bit slow on that, letting you get the conundrum. <laughs> Much too slow. Much too slow. I nearly said it was Miss Boiled. Miss, well, <laughs> then I saw more mobilised. Yes. Well, don't mention Miss here, because you know, we, we don't like the word Miss anymore. <laughs> well, David, it's lovely to see you go. It's a great track. You're only your second defeat in, uh, in 16 games. Well, you can't win them all. <laughs> <laughs> Will you win most of them? I'll win most of them, yeah. yeah. OK, great character. A little present for you to keep. Thank to you. remind you of your time with us on Countdown. David Trace. Thank you. Well, follow that, as they say. It's a marvellous way to end the week with a great final, that, and, of course, seeing uh, Alan, of course, in uh, December. We start again our next group, Group uh, F, on Monday. These people come back. Hilary Hopper, nice to see you again, Hilary. And uh, Anthony Butcher, <laughs> there they are. These two uh, Supremes will be with us on Monday. But for now, Tom, it's only time to say goodbye, really. Yes, indeed. Great so far. Yes, we've been kept very busy today. Not we? half, yes. It's still warm, the pages here. Flick <laughs> on all the... <laughs> and a uh, final word from you, Carol. Yes, see you next time. That's it. Okay, see you on Monday from all of us here. Goodbye. <laughs>